Two dollars on bait. It looked like that wouldn't be complicated at all. That reminds me of some of like the inshore fishing. That wouldn't really work inshore. Yep, you got it. I just broke off. Ooh, what did I just say? Subscribe, baby. Ooh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a challenge today. What I'm going to do is we're at Walmart right now, and uh, we're going to go in and we're going to get baits under two dollars. Everything we get has to be under two dollars. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't catch some fish. We're gonna meet Chris back at the pond, but I gotta go in here and get these baits. So, if you're interested in this type of stuff, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. You're gonna wanna hit the subscribe button, because I have a feeling today's gonna be a good day. Let's do it. Hey guys, my name's JT Kenny, and welcome back to another episode of Bee Fishing. Folks, so we are in the Walmart, and uh, we have to find things that are under two dollars. So we've we've really made it, <laughs> we really made it rough on ourselves today. Actually, we're gonna be looking at a lot of Ozark Trail, which is Walmart's brand, and we're gonna be looking at some bargain bins. So uh, let's get to it. So as you can see, guys, I mean we're right there on the edge. We're we're just like a dollar away. Look at that, two sixteen, just out of budget. Not gonna be able to afford that. Start looking at like like stuff down here. These bargain bins, $1.46, we could do that. Ooh, $1.96, that's getting close. But uh, we can we can look in those bins in a minute if we need some soft plastics. Um, yum's out by a dollar. We can have one of these things. I mean, look at this. That doesn't look like that wouldn't be complicated at all. Let's start off with some hard baits. Arborgast are out, Hedden's out, rattle traps are out. Yeesh, we've, uh, we've really limited ourselves. Really, no, here we go. So we got some Ozark Trail stuff for $1.97. We've got some like, there's a crankbait right there. We've got some like traps, some smaller traps, some crankbaits and some topwaters up there. I'm not going for topwater. I could almost do the crankbait, but what's really caught my attention are these little minnows. It's like a little jerk minnow. Ooh, there's one in chartreuse. Look at that color. That reminds me of some of like the inshore fishing. That would really work inshore. I'm really, I really kind of like either this black back or the blue back. Or actually, look at this. We've got a white back one right there. I really like that one. Let me guys know what you think. I think we're gonna go with this one. Yep. And uh, at a dollar, at a dollar ninety-seven, we're within budget. And uh, you know the hooks are going to be super sharp because I mean, it's a dollar ninety-seven, right? Right beside it, actually, some jigs for a dollar forty-six and a dollar ninety-six for those jigs. Uh, let's look at these Lucky Strike jigs, like this guy right here. This is a dollar ninety-six. Now I don't know about y'all. It says it's peanut butter and jelly. That better be strawberry jelly. These are okay, a dollar, a dollar fifty-six. I really like these football head jigs though for this time of the year. And uh, this one looks like it's gonna work. I really like that guy. It's a lucky strike and green pumpkin. You can't go wrong with green pumpkin. So, so far we've got these two. We've got the lucky strike football head jig. We've got the little hard bait right there. That little minnow jerk bait. And I would be remiss if I didn't pass out the little spinner baits here for a dollar. So let's go through here and find us a spinner bait that we like. I'm going to try to shy away from uh, Colorado blades. We're gonna go with, with your willow blade here. Do they have any other colors? I like that white and blue. Yep, I'm trying to stay, those are Colorado. Oh, that's a willow blade. That's the same thing, Brett. It's literally the same thing. So we're gonna get one of these guys too for a buck. It's like a, uh, I think it's a lucky strike too. I don't know who makes it, but it's only a dollar and you can't go wrong with that. It's white and blue, got a little Colorado blade up front. Nice big willow blade on the back. That should catch fish, I like that. So we're gonna, we got three things so far. Working with three things, I think. I mean, we're trying to get like at least five, five baits here. And then we make it to the bargain bins over here. Again, we can't spend over $2. So pretty much everything that's actually hanging is out. 
so let's start over here. Let's start over here. A little finesse worm. We could probably get away with that. I don't believe those are a dollar forty-six. I, I think that's a mistake. So these might actually work if these are actually under two dollars. I think they're a dollar ninety-six. Is what it looks like. This vibe crawl. I love the vibe crawls. That would match our football jig pretty well. Um, it would have a little bit of thump on the fall, a little bit of action down there, which I'm okay with. I think this could work if this is actually the right price. That's what we're working with right now. So we've got, we can pair those two together. I really like that pairing. We've got our little jerk minnow right there. And we've got our spinner bait. So, so far, if we're, we're sticking with the game plan, we got the little green pumpkin ultra vibe with the green pumpkin magic football jig. We've also got a dollar spinner bait and under $2 is that little jerk minnow. So, so far we're doing okay. Actually, you know what? We're gonna change out that vibe for this. I just found this. We're gonna change out that vibe crawl for this. This would actually go a little bit better because that's a smaller jig. That ultra vibe, I think, is just gonna be too big. We're gonna throw that back. And one thing I wanna circle back to, actually, which I think is gonna work extremely well, these little trick worms. What are these? It's a 10 pack of watermelon red trick worms by Zoom. You can use this on a shaky head. You could use it on a drop shot. I think we're gonna go with this, and I think that's gonna be our five baits right there. So we've got the watermelon red Zoom little finesse worm. We've got the little crawdad to pair with our jig. We've got a spinner bait. We've also got our hard bait down there too. I think we've covered the spectrum on things that we need, and uh, this is gonna be the five. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna leave y'all now, and we will catch you back at the water in three, Two. So we are out at the pond. We have not been to the pond in a little bit of time, actually. It's been several months. We've got Chris over there getting ready to get rigged up. And as y'all know, we're doing this Walmart challenge. Everything you see right here was under $2. So we've got the uh, Yum. I think this is the Crawdad. This is to go on the back of our jig, which is like a Lucky Strike jig and uh, like pumpkin. We've also got some watermelon red finesse worms, the little tiny minnow jerk bait and uh, a little dollar spinnerbait. Everything we bought had to be under $2. As you will notice, that's right, we've got duplicates of everything. So what Chris is gonna do, he's gonna take this pile, I'm gonna take this pile, we're gonna work out of them. If I catch one on the jig and the yum trailer, uh, he doesn't have to you know, fish his jig and the yum trailer. We've, we've, we've done that one. So our goal today is to catch a fish on one of these baits. It doesn't matter who catches it, just we have to catch one on each bait. And uh, at the end of this video, there may even be a giveaway with the stuff that wasn't used, um, or at least we'll pull stuff together to make it where, uh, you know, y'all can partake in the $2 challenge yourself. So hang tight, stay till the end of the video, and I'll tell you how to win this stuff, what you need to do. And uh, yeah, let's get in the water. We're gonna be yakking it today. We haven't we haven't gotten the yaks in a while, so it's it's been a minute. Let's do it. What we can do with just a handful of dollars. All right, so Chris is, I think, gonna start with like the little jerk bait and uh, the spinner bait, because I mean, those are really his fortes. He's much better at those than I am. So I'm actually gonna start with the uh, little finesse worm, and I've got it rigged up on a drop shot. If you've been watching my channel lately, I have been absolutely murdering the drop shot. It's like my new little confidence bait here. So, <clears throat> which, by the way, I recommend everybody do. If you're uh, not good or don't feel good about a technique, force yourself to go out one day and just fish that technique. Um, if you can do that and catch a couple fish on it, you'll start to feel more confident in it. You'll start really learning the nuances of how to fish that technique. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's, that's, that's what I've always done. It's how I fell in love with the chatterbait. It's how I fell in love with the rattle trap. You know, just things that I was like, eh, I kind of just want to fish a worm. I always wanted to fish a worm, but you're never going to grow unless you start doing more stuff. And uh, this year it's been the finesse thing. I really wanted to learn the finesse bite and um, Ned rigs, shaky heads, drop shots, just different techniques, really expanding the, uh, the tools in the toolbox, if you will. All right, so I've got the uh, little six inch finesse worm. There's 10 of these in a pack. What I'm gonna do for this one is I could do this. I mean, I could just leave it on there just like that. And that's not too bad. I mean, that's pretty good size. I'm actually gonna bite it down just a little bit. I'm gonna bite about an inch off of it. And then the way I do my, my, my drop shot rigs, 
just throwing this out there. I don't go through the bottom to the top. I actually rig it almost like you're gonna do a Texas rig. But I come out the back, just like this. And what that does is that it exposes more of the hook. So I've got more of the hook exposed and uh, it keeps it where it won't wiggle from uh, side to side. Push on. Little jerk bait. So caught the first fish on this little bitty jerk bait. I was kind of skeptic because it doesn't really go underwater anywhere. But the bass tore it up, jumped on it. Hardy got a fish. Dad gum. We're going. We're about to kill it today. I feel it. If it's going to be a moving bait bite, we're we're going to be in good shape. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh, got him. Got him. You're a little fella. Little skinny fella. But I will take you. And you bit it running. Woo! All right, so finesse worm is done. Little guy, but I will take him. I will absolutely take you. Look at this. You can tell they're a little bit spawned out, just like Chris said. They're already spawning out. You can tell it's just got that flat belly, just that empty little belly there. So it's it's time to uh, bulk back up, buddy. Thanks for the thanks for the bite, though. Woo! Little dance on the way out. So, drop shot's done. We're moving on to the jig. It's a little football jig, in pumpkin and purple. I've got this yum crawdaddy trailer. I've actually already bit part of it off, so I can fit it on here, just right. Yum, you used a lot of uh, a lot of worm oil on this. It's making it difficult on me. Thing is slippery. It ain't on there straight, but it's gonna be straight enough for what I'm trying to do. Good Lord. You know what, that looks terrible. That thing looks terrible. But it is so dang slimy. There we go. There we go. That looks a lot better. Shorten it up a little bit. All right. Let's catch a fish on the jig. I know there's fish over here. And I know they're big enough to eat this thing. Oh, that's fish. Got it? Yep, you got it. Woo! Jig's done. Woo! Spinner bait to go. How about that little guy taking the jig? My goodness. Well, I appreciate it, buddy. I really do. Little fella. Little, little, little fella. But hey, the jig and that yum trailer are done. One more to go. If we can just get the spinner bait done, we're going to be done with this challenge. All right. So that fish was right up on the bank. And that's what we're going to do with the spinner bait. We're going to try to not throw it there. We're going to try to get it right on the edge of the bank close as we can at least. I can't believe I ain't caught anything on this freaking spinner bait. I know, I thought, I thought you were too. Especially after I caught that so fast on that one bait. I just broke off on braid. Yep. He may still be on. No, he got the he got the bait out of his mouth. I told y'all there was gonna be a giveaway in this video. First thing, you have to like this video. So go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already, you need to subscribe. Got him. Oh, he's a good size. What did I just say? Subscribe, baby. You got to subscribe. Look at this guy. He's a good pound and a half. He's tagged too. I'm trying to see his tag number here, guys. 1030. 15 incher. You know, if you had a real paddle, that helped. You and your fake paddle. You and your fake paddle.
One and a half, just like I said, about a one and a half pounder. Got it. Yep. Good job, sir. All right. So I'm gonna release this girl. She's been out of the water for a hot second. One and a half pounds, 15 inch fish, uh, tagged number 1030. If y'all don't know, if you're new to the channel, we tag a lot of the fish in here. We track their growth just to make sure we're doing the right things. And uh, one of the spinner bait, this guy. So let's uh, let's release her. Make sure she's gonna swim off okay. Oh yeah, there she goes. There she goes, good release. All I can see is the white of her tag at this point. Sweet, on the little spinner bait. That completes the challenge. And as I was saying, as I caught that fish, if you are still watching, if you wanna win this, these baits, you gotta hit the like button. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, and uh, somewhere in your comment, I want you to comment, number one, I want you to leave a suggestion on a different Walmart challenge because it seems like Walmart's the only place that's gonna be open for the, the next couple, little while because of the, uh, the coronavirus. So leave a, a Walmart challenge that you wanna see us do. Um, and you have to have this in there. You have to have the word spinner bait because that was the last bait in the biggest fish we caught was on the spinnerbait. So spinnerbait's gotta be in your comment. Do all those things and you're entered to win. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to win those baits, it is hidden in the video. I hit it somewhere in the video. So if you skip to the end, well, you're gonna have to go back and watch the whole thing. If you watch the whole thing, you're already a leg up. You know what to do. You know what to put that special word in the comments that I talked about. And uh, Chris, what'd you think of this challenge? It's a good challenge. Dude, all the baits paid off. Yep, that's right. So you can actually spend, so that was a total, I think I spent $9 or less on that because some of the baits were actually only a dollar, some of them were like $1.50. But you can go to Walmart and spend only $2 per bait and catch fish. And we got one that was a pretty decent size, respectable for the pond. Bassing on a budget. Sorry if the uh, camera's shaking, by the way. It's a little cold out here today. Like I said, we had a cold front come through last night. It's a little chilly and we were not dressed for it. Definitely not dressed for it. Chris is Chris is over here showing kneecaps off. But anyway, guys, if you uh, enjoyed the video, hit the like button. Leave a comment below on any other challenges you want to see us do at Walmart. We will definitely get on them. And as always, hit the red subscribe button. Turn it gray. Hit the ding-dong notifications if you want to be notified anytime I drop a new video. And speaking of that, that's how we're going to notify you if you win the giveaway. It's going to be in the description of the next video. So that's why you're going to want to hit those ding-dong notifications. If you see your name, hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, email you know the drill Twitter TikTok. Twitter TikTok we got TikTok now so that's that's been fun to do so you should check us out on TikTok uh, yeah we'll catch you on the next one guys later